Waking up in a mysterious world suspended by time, you're a child. A child tasked with the simple objective to play and eat. But search a bit further and you might find that this world holds more secrets than meets the eye. What more lies in the deep? How can we escape? Or rather, can we escape? Let's Go Baby is a mysterious net game from 2001 where people could get together and hang out in a virtual world inhabited by babies. The game mysteriously disappeared off the market after many complaints, but has since resurfaced in the hobbyist circles as a so bad is good gem. Loading up Let's Go Baby, we have the option to play alone or with friends. Each choice renders the same game, so let's try playing alone. Entering the world, we begin our adventure in a courtyard, placed upon one of six graves. Opening the menu, we are greeted to a welcome screen and a mini tutorial on player moves. We can crawl, dance, and exert an aura around our character. However, scrolling further down, players can find a scrambled text accompanied by a strange symbol. I'm not quite sure what this means yet, so we move on. Venturing further, our player stumbles across a playground. From swings to carousels, players can enjoy their time viewing the golden baby statue or taking a sip of a sponsored beverage. However, if they ever get hungry, a baby must travel down a more... grim path. Following the path labeled food, players can make their way through a sewage system until they find their sought-after meal. Only eating it doesn't fulfill any sense of hunger, but instead teleports them to a new world. One with doors that seem to lead nowhere and change shape as you move through the corridors. Each room is lit with a different, dark undertone and opens to a section filled with paintings. Unfortunately, there seems to be nothing for us to do here, except one thing, fall. Taking a leap of faith, our player gets teleported right back to where they were, back to the grave. I tried killing myself over and over, and time and time again, I was brought back here. It's as if we're stuck in some endless loop, a purgatory. After exploring this maze multiple times, I decide to test the limits of the map. The playground seems to have areas past the walls, and the jump doesn't seem too high. I attempt, and to my surprise, we made it. It didn't take much searching to find that something darker lurked past these walls. A shadow figure stood before me, towered over me actually, but that was all. It was then that I realized that this figure looked familiar. Have I seen him before? I decide to run back but fall through the map. Luckily, I get caught by a cave underneath and find that my only way out is through. I crawl through the small crevice in the cave until I find one door, glowing red, with the sign that reads, Daddy's Room. Walking through the door led me somewhere like no other. I found myself atop a rock suspended by chains. Distorted faces painted the sky and I couldn't help but believe that this was some sort of hell. There's nowhere to go except toward a room that required daddy's key. Something more lurked in this game and I was determined to find it. I run back to the painting room to revisit the shadow that I missed. He watched me through a window aimlessly. I decided to investigate this room a bit more. After all, this room is very odd and serves almost no purpose. At least none that we know of. I checked every door, all leading nowhere, except for one. Like the floor that led to Daddy's room, a wall behind a door was clippable. Through here lies a white room with six silhouettes drawn similar to that of a crime scene. I wonder where we've seen six graves before. I can't figure out the purpose of the room, but I do notice a repeating audio clip. Many games like these hide secrets and images or audio files. I run the audio through an audio spectrogram reader and I find a message. Although choppy, the message reads, Hollow. Speak our language. They will understand. They will teach you the backroads of our world. The word hollow isn't as cryptic as you may think. It's the name of one of the auras that we're able to exert. 
The color of the aura is black and actually matches that of the shadow figures. Walking up to them and attempting to exert this aura leads to a response. Running these figures through a spectrogram also reveals a new message. The shadow in the window reads, That makes me sad. Do you want to be my brother? Big brother, he's waiting for you. Go to the tower world. Use Tenembris on locked door. Big brother can remake people. And then this is concluded with a long string of the words, More brothers. The shadow figure outside reads the following. Hello. I need help. Save my brother. They took him far, far away. Walking across to the other side of the playground, we actually find an arrow painted on the ground. Walking past this arrow takes us to the tower world, the one mentioned by the shadow in the window. I walk toward the locked door and use a tenembrous aura as instructed. It's time to meet Big Brother. A colossal shadow extends through the wall with the message, Welcome, little brother. Spin the wheel. I walk through the door and get sent back to the graveyard. This time, my character is different, however. Our player is reborn. I head back to the playground, this time to take a ride on the merry-go-round. Spinning on it continuously increases the speed quite a bit. Doing so for merely a few seconds will send you to another room. One with merely a mattress and a couple of baby dolls. Viewing the other side, we find more darker dolls, but they serve no purpose. What does serve a purpose, though, is the audio message we can hear. The audio from the vital monitors reads, Shift plus X. Password, Misery Miser. Pressing Shift X actually loads a new screen, one that is unknown and not mentioned in the controls page. It reads Daddy's key access and accepts a username and password. Well, we have a password, but still no username. I search and search this entire world and I can't find what this username could possibly be. I thought I stumbled upon it in the sewer room, but only found a collection of creepy moving heads. Only when I was about to give up did I find a small hole outlined in the hell dimension. A shadow figure greeted us with the message, Username, Admin Daddy 5 Entering both fields into the Daddy's key access prompts the following. Admin console, no babies allowed, the magic word. I have no idea what this could mean. I have searched this game from top to bottom and I'm sure that nothing has gone unsearched. Except for one thing. Remember that scrambled text from the start? Well, loading the string into a Caesar cipher gives the following. Magic word. Goodbye, baby. Entering the phrase as the magic word leads me to a room all in white. Five shadows lie before me and a key on top of a dead child. Five shadows and six graves? Could I have been the sixth? One of the shadows speaks to me, revealing the following message. Special drink. It smelt like almonds. I move forward and finally enter the room in hell, the one bound by daddy's key. This leads me to another location, one filled with characters like me, babies. All gathered and watching me pass through the gates, I know there's no turning back now. Before me, down a long corridor, lies a face, ready to greet me as I enter this unknown.
Whether murdered or due to natural causes, the fate of these children are unknown. However, digging a bit deeper into the story, I couldn't help but wonder what happened. I'll leave the conclusions to you, but let me leave you with this. Cyanide. Cyanide is a deadly and fast-acting poison. A chemical that has killed many and most famously known as the chemical used in the Jonestown Massacre. Those who have gotten close to this poison have noted one thing. The lingering resemblance to the smell of almonds. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoy. If you want to watch more stories from Creepy Games, feel free to subscribe. I would also ask you to hit that like button to show support and help push my video to new viewers. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all next time.